Hi YouTube world, it's Adrian. I wanted to jump on here very quickly and do a quick first impressions swatch and maybe a little bit of a comparison uh, with some of their other products on the new NARS Soft Matte Tinted Lip Balm. I got this one here, I got it today and I might be in love. I might be in love. I have a weak spot for Bobbi Brown lip products and NARS. Um, they're definitely up there in my, in my, I am always, not always, but almost always impressed with what they do. They tend to like just do something a little bit different and a little bit better. I mean, there's really no other word. And um, I, yeah, yeah. So um, I picked up the shade Brief Encounter. They really only have six shades and it's uh, $28. Um, it's right now only sold at Sephora. Now, I don't know how they figure out distribution lines with NARS, like some products are sold at Ulta, some at Sephora, some you'll eventually see at Macy's or on their website. Everything's just sort of like staggered, but for some reason, this is right now a Sephora exclusive. It comes in six shades. I think half of the shades are sold out already. Um, the shade that I'm going to be trying is not sold out yet, and I'm sort of glad that I picked this one up. Now that I see it and I've put it on, this was definitely the shade for me. The shades that they came out with are sort of like nude, warmish toned shades or more neutral toned shades. Um, so those six shades are kind of gonna be the nude for many skin tones, like they try to cover the gamut. Of course, if you wanna wear something real chocolatey and you're fair skinned, you can definitely go for the more chocolatey shade. It's, it will probably look beautiful. But I think the intention is for it to be sort of like a soft nude look. Um, the component, here it is, is this matte silver, and it is gorgeous. It's very similar to the component of the regular um, lip balms from them, um, but it's just in this matte silver, so it doesn't really tell you the shade. I like it. I sort of wish that they would have done something like match the shade so that this is sort of like a a matte in like a different tones of nude. I thought I think that that would probably have looked so beautiful and elegant, but I really just don't know what they're going to do with this product. I don't know if this is limited edition. I don't know if this is something they're actually going to invest in. I'm not sure. So maybe that's why just the silver, but still nonetheless gorgeous gorgeous packaging. And then you see it's literally a lip balm. So again, this is the color Brief Encounter. It's sort of, uh, I think it calls itself a neutral nude, but let me go ahead and put it on just so you can see. So you can see it is um, quite pigmented for what for the type of product it is. And It is the type of product where I wouldn't feel the need to like do a lip liner or anything, though you could definitely do that. I feel like it's pigmented enough that it could be like a standard lipstick. When you first put it on, it is a pretty thin formula. Doesn't feel like there is a lot of just product that's laid down on the, on the lips. However, it does a beautiful job in blurring the lips. So it definitely is matte, matter, matter, matter. Uh, it is more matte than, than um, you know, what you would imagine like a lip balm to be, but it's not completely flat. There is just some glow that is like emanating from the lips. I like this shade. I think it's really pretty. It's sort of, I wouldn't say it's neutral neutral. I would say it's neutral warm, um, at least on me, especially I'm, and so I'm wearing my, 
you will see this on me for a very long time. Um, I'm wearing like a, a very kind of orangey shade and it, and it is picking up on that. Um, but it is really, really pretty. There's also a, like a little bit of a grittiness to the formula. Like um, almost like there's a powderiness to it. Similar to like if you put on, um, I was trying to think when I first put this on, like what does this remind me of? Sort of like the Pat McGrath Matte Trance, that powderiness that's in that formula. But that formula has a lot more pigment. It's a lot thicker. It's not also as hydrating as this one feels. But this one does feel like it has like some type of powderiness to it. It's really, really pretty though. It's, it is a super easy, easy breezy kind of formula to, to wear. Um, I like it. I really like it. And I've already started to kind of think like, what, what is this sort of reminding me of? Or what does this look like? Um, color wise, I think I, I think I know why I like it and, um, what it reminds me of. And I just want to show you, it's another NARS product. Um, I'm just going to wipe off half my lip. Um, it is the Velvet Lip Glide in the color Vault. And I just want to show you, now this formula is very different. Um, probably my favorite NARS formula. I don't know what they're doing with this line either. But this is a very opaque, hybrid, gloss, um, long wear lip kind of thing. Uh, but you'll see. So this is color wise. I, I knew I had something of this color, but now that I have them half on, half off, um, the vault uh, velvet lip glide on this side, yeah, I really can tell. Like this one, that powderiness, that um, there's a little less slip than the Velvet Lip Glide. They both almost feel like they have a dry oil in them, which gives them that feeling of hydration and kind of plumpness. This one has... Uh, the Love Velvet Lip Glides are not like super duper, you know, in your face, shiny or anything. So you'll see like, it's the finishes are, are getting close, uh, though the Velvet Lip Glide is just one step up in its sort of, um, in the, in the gloss kind of department. So it's a little, a tiny bit shinier, but not, not by much. Um, there's one other thing I wanted to compare it to. So I'm just gonna wipe that off so elegantly. And uh, I'm going to compare it to Laguna by NARS. This is in their uh, tinted lip balm formula. So this is more of your traditional tinted lip balm. And again, kind of color wise, they're doing the same thing. They're, they're trying to do the same thing. I'd say that the soft matte tinted balm is definitely more opaque. This one is a little bit more sheer, but I, I like that. Um, I feel like that's what these products are. The afterglow lip balms are meant to be more sheer. The Afterglow lip, lip Balm, the Laguna, is feels more like your traditional lip balm. It feels hydrating. It feels like it's something you're going to be applying all the time. Probably is not going to have a, a long wear. While I will say that the NARS lip, the NARS, um, what is this called? Soft Matte Lip Balm. Um, it is it is gonna adhere longer to your lips. I just think this is a really nice product for somebody who may be 
likes the idea of a matte lipstick, but doesn't like a lot of times what it what it does for their lips. Like it doesn't, it's not always the most flattering of product. Um, it can really accentuate lines. Uh, maybe you will feel the need that you have to kind of layer with a lip balm or, or like an actual lip balm or a lip gloss to kind of bring some hydration. With this formula, you don't have to do that. You absolutely don't have to do that. It's also a really nice, just nude option. Like, I know that if I'm wearing a new or I want to wear a nude lipstick, I actually don't like to apply uh, a full on nude lipstick because I feel like to me it sort of defeats the purpose. Sometimes it's really hard to get a good match for your lips and it's it's either s slightly too dark or too light for your, for your lips and it kind of takes away from the idea of like this effortless nude lip look but with just a little splash of something special. Um, when a, a, a nude lip kind of becomes too fussy for me, I'm really turned off by it. So I always try to find nude lipsticks that are um, knocking on a bomb's door, <laughs> knocking on ease. And um, it's one of those things where it's going to give me some that something special without the effort. And I feel like this does that which is so, I didn't expect it. I really didn't expect it. So I hope you found that interesting. Let me do a, a hand swatch. Um, it is much more pigmented than, than the, um, but you'll see it has a really beautiful like blurring effect. It's really, really nice. Um, so this is Brief Encounter. Uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm always, I'm always pretty pretty impressed with with NARS. Um, I didn't try. I will say I know that they uh, recently came out with their soft matte other kind of li liquid lip or something, and those did not appeal to me. I didn't actually purchase one. It's just something about the applicator. It's more like a lip gloss applicator. They look like it would be very, a lot of the colors would be very white based and sort of look like it would just sit on the lips. I don't know. Tell me if you've tried that one, if if that's worth picking one up. I, I've been on the fence. I just don't know how I feel about it. it. They just seem like they didn't really meld with the lip as much as just kind of sit on top of the lip. And I don't, I don't like products like that unless it's a really, really dark, dark liquid lip. Um, Again, in the nude realm, I like the ease of like just kind of putting something on and not even having to like do the lip liner, do the whole shebang. Uh, and I feel like this is definitely that. Um, it's interesting though how close in color it is to like Laguna um, and also to like Vault. Um, so if you like the color, but maybe, you know, kind of look look into your collection or check out Temptalia and look at these two and see if there's color that kind of match that in your collection before you like you run out and buy something. I, I believe it or not, I tend to do that. Um, although video has evidence to the contrary. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you liked this kind of quick first impression I, I mean, I, I've been wearing this like for a few hours, so I can tell it's not a, a first, first impression for me. That's why I can speak to the longevity of it and that, you know, apply every four or five hours. Um, but it's sort of a first impression. Um, so I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful and um, I will see you soon. Okay, bye.